Hey everybody, I have a layout for you today using my Shimmers products. I'm gonna be using these cute little like makeup sponges. I'm going to be using Creamies in Grapefruit. I'm gonna be using Inklings in Blue My Mind. I have some Creamies in Ride the Tide. I have Inklings in Me and Blue. And I also have some Shimmers in Pink Caviar and some creamies in strawberry fields. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to show you how I created the background for my layout. So I'm using a background today that I've already um, done, that I had in my stash, and uh, I'm just gonna show you the technique that I used to create that background. I have quite a number of like already done mixed media backgrounds hanging out in my scrapbook room and I really want to get some of them used up so in an effort to try to do that the ones that I know I created using shimmers I'm going to go ahead and kind of recreate them on a piece of like scrap paper to show you the techniques and then I can create the large 12 by 12 scrapbook layout on the large background so what you want to do is you want a makeup sponge that creates a circle so around sponge um, I'm using these kind of makeup sponges and I'm starting with the lighter color moving to the darkest color and I'm just this kind of sponge painting these circles so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna overlap them that's why I'm going light to dark and we're gonna create a really cool technique with this I love how the finished background turned out. Because I'm going light to dark, I can go ahead and um, use the same sponge. So I just have two sponges, one that's dedicated for my pinky orangey colors, one that's dedicated for my blue. And then I'm just dipping it in each color of paint, going light to dark, overlapping, and creating a fun pattern. So you wanna get these circles really close. You don't want them to be kind of far apart as you continue on with your different colors. And in the end, you can get something that looks like this. So it's super easy. I went through, used all of the blues and orange colors that I showed at the beginning, created my own little background paper. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pair this background with the Sunkissed Collection from Coco Vanilla Studio. I pulled the colors I used from my photo, but I'm also gonna pull in some of this pretty uh, dark blue because that dark blue color is in my niece's swimsuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of rough up the edges of this blue paper. And I'm going to rough up uh, some of the edges on the my photos when I'm at my photos. And that way I just have a little bit of extra texture. I'm gonna put a band of that nice navy blue across the middle. And uh, then I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of keep my photos and embellishments on that band. Uh, they will kind of come up and go down into that painted background, but the bulk of them will be across that band. I wanted to add a bit more color behind my photos just to make them kind of pop up off the that dark background. Although I love the navy background, I love that navy band because look at my photos. So these three colors, that oceany, aqua-y blue, the nice navy blue, and that light pink are all in my photo and then they're all a part of the Sunkissed collection. So I'm just matching, I'm being very matchy matchy to my photos today. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. So I've gone through all of my Sunkissed embellishments and I've pulled out the ones that I really wanna try to use. Things that I think will match my photos and my layout really well. I'm gonna use that little beach towel that says sunshine on my mind as my title. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of cluster a couple other things around the layout. So I'm going to use a couple of these buttons and I'm tearing the foam off the back of them. Uh, 
I just, I think that the buttons have enough bulk without me adding more bulk from the foam squares and I don't need them there. So I would prefer to tear the foam that's off of that on the back of them, just tear it off and then, you know, come back and add some glue later. I'm gonna use those two as well. And then I have all these pretty flowers, so many flowers. I love them. So I have all the ones that are in the oceany colors. Flowers were perfect. There's flowers on Ella's bathing suit. So cute and fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of decide on placement for all of these floral bits and bobs. And then on top of the flowers, I'm gonna go ahead and layer up that cute one piece bathing suit and the sunshine state of mind. Now I know I wanna add some puffy stickers onto uh, this layout as well. I'm not done embellishing, but I wanna get these die cut pieces down and I also wanna stamp a little bit. So this month's paper person kit, the July kit is all about summer, has this cute little stamp set. So I used some washi tape to kind of keep my label on my desk and still. And then I used some Catherine Puller, Puller Juniper Mist ink, which is that beautiful navy blue. It fit perfectly on this pink label. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my layout. Popped it up with some foam tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps to give it just a touch of dimension. And then I can go ahead and layer some of those other flowers and the other button thing, button and, um, create a little bit of a cluster over there. I'm going to grab some Nuvo Deluxe adhesive because I'm tearing off all of the foam tape off the back of those buttons. So I'm going to need to replace the foam tape with some adhesive. If you think that that little starfish, starfish looks sad up there, don't fret. I'm going to add a couple of puffy stickers to go along. Uh, but I wanted to wait till I have like the die cuts or the uh, buttons kind of down on the page before I add the puffy stickers. Um, I probably can move them, but uh, you know. I'm gonna go ahead now and just kind of um, finish up this small cluster up at the top and then we'll work on that kind of big larger area to the right of my photos. For my larger elements on this on this large cluster i have all the flowers down i'm going to use that foam tape to pop up my little beach towel that's going to add as my act as my title and then i'm also going to pop up the bathing suit as well and then i'm going to go ahead and kind of fill in that cluster with some of the puffy stickers i went with uh some puffy stickers things like starfish a couple of flowers um, a couple of different kind of cute elements, those cute little puffy uh, hearts and things like that. So I have just a few little bits I'm going to add. And I want to decide that I want to add a little bit of sparkle because, you know, you can never have too much sparkle. Uh, so I have off to the right there some tea garden rose sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm going to grab Llewellyn, my trusty little sequin helper. And then I'm going to go ahead and dot some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive in kind of like the open white space across the top and across the bottom. I'm going to grab my crystal katana. And then I'm just going to pull the pinky orangey sequins out of the mix and sprinkle them around the top of the page. I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom then using just the aqua blue colors from this mix. So this mix is no longer available. It's not in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. It's not one of the mixes that is carried in the Shimmers Paint store. Uh, this is why you should always buy <laughs> your sequin mixes if you even remotely think you're gonna like them because they sell out super quick, um, quite often. But uh, this one, just the, it just had those peachy pink and the aqua -y blue colors that really uh, kind of really matched this layout. So I was super excited to kind of pull them out of my stash, remember how much I loved them, and then to go ahead and create another project with them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing across the bottom. 
the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive dotted about, and then my Crystal Katana and put those blue and aqua sequins across the bottom. And that's where we are going to call this layout all done. You can head over to the Shimmers Paint Shop to pick up all the beautiful colors that I've used. And if you do, make sure to mention my name when you check out in the note to seller and you will receive a free product in your order. Isn't that awesome? If you want a direct link or a list from all the colors that I've used today, head over to the Shimmers blog. And both the blog and the store will be linked in the description box. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.